Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a review of the In A Life Spinning Spar Bar. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we have the In A Life MMA slash boxing speed trainer with spinning bar. And this is Analyze version basically of the spar bar. Um, it comes with the base. Um, basically show you how it came um, in the box. I just pulled everything out of this box that was shipped from China. You can see it actually comes uh, with the box that has the, the base in it right here. And then it comes with these two boxes. The weird thing was um, this left box right here came with all of the pieces that you see right here, including the little uh, diagram manual. But this other box was completely empty. So I don't know why they included these two cylindrical boxes because one of them was empty, but I don't know, maybe just for the sake of, of cushioning it. Um, but the overall weight with everything included wasn't really uh, heavy at all. You can see it says sell in one set and they tape it up pretty well. So they do a pretty decent job of, of packing this all up. But to kind of show you guys before I actually assemble this to kind of go over what's included with this. Again, this is a spar bar. So it's essentially um, almost like the somewhat like a, the reflex bag in the, in the fact that, um, you know, it stand, stands upright, has a, a bag at the very top. Just to show you guys, let me grab the, the paper. So you can see again, it does have the base that you can fill up with water, which is nice. Um, has the adjustable bar. Um, and then you have the boxing ball at the top. This, this version actually comes uh, with an inflatable uh, bag. Um, and then it also even comes with like a little in, uh, a little hand pump that you can pump the bag up with. Um, and then it has the spinning bar. So that's going to be kind of the, the main feature of this is that spinning bar. And I don't know if you guys seen videos of it on YouTube. Um, you know, you can use it uh, to hit the bar and then you hit the bag at the top. And then when as the bar spins around, you can use that uh, to block. So you're basically working, um, you know, you're kind of like you're counter punching and your defense at the same time. So it forces you to, to make sure you have good uh, defensive responsibility keeping your hands up because that bar spins around and, and it'll hit you if you if you're not um, careful so um, this is the instruct installation instructions that it came with they're pretty crappy um, it's there's really no instructions all it is is just the diagram of the actual um, uh, bar that how you put it together as far as installing it um, it doesn't tell you anything on the other side. I, I checked the box to see if there's any other instructions and literally this is all it came with. So um, it's not going to be too hard for me to figure out. It's just going to take a little extra time on, uh, on knowing where each nut and bolt goes to. So again, it comes with that. Um, here's the, the actual ball or should I say the bag um, that goes on the top. It's kind of a leather-ish type material. This is definitely not genuine leather, but um, kind of just a leather type material. Then you can see it has a little tip right there where you can inflate it. Um, and then the bar itself, I was actually pretty surprised that the quality of this actually looks pretty good. Um, here's the actual spinning bar. You can see it has a bearing on the inside right here. And this is basically what sits horizontally and spins around. Um, the exterior again uses kind of a similar, uh, you know, synthetic leather material. The bar itself is, is pretty dense. You can see here that it has some density, but they definitely use a stiffer foam on the inside. It's not soft. It's definitely foam, uh, very firm. And then it says on the side here, it says in a life MMA integrated combat. Um, and then again, just the leather on the end there. So um, no, nothing really to it. You can see this bar itself, I'd say is about uh, almost two feet. I'd say maybe a foot and a half in length. Um, so it has definitely a good length to it to where um, when it spins around, you, you, you'll definitely get hit by it. Um, and then the actual pieces that it comes with to put it together, you can see it has an assortment of, of nuts and bolts in here some some springs again which i'm going to find out what they go to again the instructions it came with doesn't show you how to actually put it together so there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve here it comes with this little wrench kind of like ikea furniture that comes with a tool and then this other bag again it comes with these little rubber i'm not even too sure what these are i think this actually screws into the bottom of the base here because you can see this actually has like little holes that are threaded so I think at the bottom here too, it also has holes at the bottom. And I think that's what it does. It screws into those little holes right there and gives you some grip so that when you have it on the floor, it doesn't slide around. So I think this actually goes underneath, screws into those little holes so that the base doesn't slide around. The base also says water injection hole is under bottom tray. 
I'm not sure what that actually means. I'm assuming that this right here, you can take these little bolts off. This pops off and then you can fill it up with water underneath this little metal plate right here. So I think that actually comes off and I can fill it with water because I can't imagine how you're gonna fill this up without, you could probably fill it up to these little holes, but that'll take forever to fill up this base. So it comes with that and it comes with this little, a uh, little hand pump, you know, pretty cheap. Try to get that at the Dollar Tree. And then the actual, here's the actual pole. You can see that it's um, nice quality tubular uh, aluminum. It's high, kind of a higher grade. You can see the wells there look decent. They're not, you know, not the greatest wells in the world, but they'll hold up. Yeah, the holes right there, that's actually gonna mount here. So you can see, just kind of mating that up. It's gonna mount there. Um, again, it says Soul of the Warrior. Uh, and then it has some Chinese writing on there, IZ, like a ram head, boxing equipment. Um, and then you have this threaded adjustment knob, which I believe you can use to adjust the height, I'm assuming. I don't know, I'll, figure, I'll mess with it a little bit later on. And another adjustment knob here. Again, I'm not too sure how that works. And then up the very top, I think, this is where the actual bar uh, slides onto. So you can see here, this actually, this is where that actually goes on. And then this is what gives it that, that spinning action. So um, we'll go ahead and I'll have to mount everything together and see how it all comes together. But, so that's pretty much it, man. I mean, it's not too complicated. I'll have to assemble this and then try it out and we'll see how this thing turns out. Okay guys, so we have this In A Life Boxing MMA Spinning Bar and Bag, also known as the Spar Bar, or their version of the Spar Bar. Uh, fully assembled now, just to show you. It took me about <clears throat> 25 minutes to put everything together, taking my time um, and just putting it together. Um, it comes with everything you need. The only thing, in addition to what is included with this, um, that you'll need is just water um, and a funnel if you don't want it to get messy. So. Just kind of give you as a breakdown starting off from the base <clears throat> you do have this plastic uh, fillable base you can fill it up with water i think people can fill it up with sand which is kind of messy so i just used a, a plastic funnel i got from the hardware store um, and underneath this metal plate right here that has these 12 uh, bolts there's an actual plastic plug that you pop off and you can fill it up with water i think it's about maybe 50 to 60 pounds of water um, inside here um, just use a funnel if you don't want it to get messy and you can fill that up uh, and then you can see it has a plastic base. One cool thing about this is that it comes with these rubber suction cups that screw into the bottom of the base. And if you have a flat surface like a garage, um, you know, something slick that has some, some, some polish to it, uh, then the suction cups will be able to stick onto that. Obviously, if you're using this on carpet or any other kind of surface that might have some texture to it, it might not stick. But you still have this weighted base, which will... Uh, do its job as far as holding um, this unit down. The other big thing about this unit is that it doesn't get as much vibration as like a reflex bag because you don't have a lot of that back and forth swinging motion. The only thing that really um, moves on this in, in terms of flexing back and forth would be the spring up here and this little inflatable bag up top. Other than that, the only thing that moves around would be the, spin the spinning bar. So um, you don't really have to worry too much about vibration throughout the entire to to the pole to the base of it so uh, once you fill it up with water you put this plate this metal plate right here that you see back on these 12 screws back go back in um, and then this pole right here you can see that it uses some pretty nice sturdy aluminum um, sits right on top you have uh, four threaded pieces that stick out and then these little cap acorn nuts uh, tighten down over over the thread so you can see that there again soul of the warriors printed um, and then it does have two adjustment knobs. Now you have this lower knob. Um, this piece right here doesn't actually slide up and down. It's just this middle, um, this middle metal piece that actually slides into the female end. So these two knobs right here, um, you can see right here, just loosen. Um, and that's what um, loosens it up and, and whatnot. So um, there's another version of this that's about $50 or more that actually comes with an extension that comes and drops down with another bag like this one out here. So you can kind of hit it from the side and you can also get a foam sleeve that goes around this bottom part of the pole that allows you to kick it. So if you're into like kickboxing, Muay Thai or any other kind of martial art, 
uh, it gives you the option to be able to kick down below. I didn't get that because I just do boxing. Um, but if you do get the $300 version like you see here that I have, you'll have this little open threaded bung that you know has no use obviously. Um, so anyhow, you have these adjustment knobs right here that you can tighten and uh, raise the height of it. Um, so you can see that right there. Um, and then after that, you do have the spinning arm. Um, here's the bearing that drops down below. And um, I believe at, the, at its lowest height right here, uh, the spinning bar, I believe is about 51 inches. Um, so it can, you know, it can really, as far as height wise, um, this really serves for a lot of people at different heights. You can be pretty short. Um, and I believe it also goes all the way up to, I want to say um, 72 or to 75 inches. Let me see right here. So I can actually raise this up. Let me go ahead and loosen these knobs up a little bit just to show you how high this can go. Um, so you can see it goes pretty high up. I'm about five foot eight. And so this goes pretty high up. I mean, you can be probably like six, five and still use this pretty easily as far as the height goes. So you can see the adjustability of it. You do have um, quite a bit of uh, leg room when it comes to um, bringing this thing up and adjusting the height of it. So then the actual spinning bar again is uh, steel and then you can see the welds on it look pretty good. And then the actual bar I'd say is about 16, about a foot and a half. Um, uses a synthetic uh, type of leather material. That's all has these laces that kind of keep that in there. And then the bar itself is pretty firm. Uh, when it spins around and if it does hit you in the face, you definitely will feel it, which is good. You want, you, you know, you want something when it hits you, it reminds you to keep your hands up. So it's good that this has a nice firmness. It's not super, you know, not completely solid, but um, you definitely will know when it hits you. And then it comes with this spring right here uh, that actually is threaded on the inside, just screws on. There's a little thread piece that sticks out of the inside of this bearing um, that, that gives it, you know, some flex to it right there. So it's pretty stiff. You're not going to get a ton of flex there. It comes with the washer. Um, and then right here, this bag actually, again, screws down onto that. So you can see that it screws on. And then lastly is going to be this uh, leather-ish material inflatable bag that has the inflation tip right there. Um, the kit obviously comes with that plastic um, <clears throat> inflator pump, uh, which is pretty cheap. Uh, but enough to do the job to inflate this ball um, and has a bladder in the inside. So um, that's a pretty much the entire construction of the bag. And just to kind of show you how everything looks together. And uh, let's go ahead and try this thing out and see how it works. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'll be doing a review of the Inalife Boxing and MMA Spinning Bar System. Um, this is really similar and it's a little bit more uh, of an inexpensive version of the Spar Bar that you may have seen um, in a life makes this particular system in two different models. Um, the first model, like you see here, is the more inexpensive one. This is about $300. Uh, it comes with the inflatable bag up top. You do have this spinning bar that you see right here. Um, and then the adjustable pole as well as the fillable suction, suction cup base. Um, the second model, which is a little bit more expensive, about $50 more, um, it's going to be exactly the same except that you have this little bung right here that has a female threaded end um, that you can insert a, another bag into it. And then you also have the option to have a padded collar that wraps around the bottom of the pole. So if you like to use kicks and whatnot, low kicks, leg kicks, um, you can practice using that. Um, now this spinning bar system, um, also known as a spar bar, uh, has been popularized uh, in the last couple of years, uh, mainly because of the spinning bar system which helps integrate defense um, into your training and your workout. So, um, it, you know, you guys may have seen, if you're a subscriber to my channel, thank you. If, if you're new to the channel, you may have seen uh, the videos I've done on like the Cobra Reflex bag from Ringside, uh, which is, again, like its, like, it's, like its name, it's more of a reflex kind of bag. You hit it, um, you're, you're using your timing, your reflexes, and a little bit of speed, um, and a little bit of power as well. Um, and it does kind of hit you back because it has that rebounding effect. Uh, where this spinning bar is really nice for uh, making sure that you keep your hands up, you have good defensive responsibility, and the ability for it to be able to, for you to be able to bob and weave underneath this uh, this spinning bar. Um, now I showed you guys earlier the kind of the breakdown of the system, so I'm not going to go over that so much as I'm going to show you how this thing works. And at the very top, the big difference between this and the spar bar uh, spar bar model that I've seen, or the spar bar brand, excuse me, 
is that this is an, an actual inflatable bag where I think Sparbar comes with a solid foam um, bag. So um, some people might like, might like the, the, the feel of, a, of an inflatable bag. It's a little bit more softer to the touch. Um, uh, I'm, you know, really no indifference to me. I know that um, the spar bars versus the ringside, they do have the foam ball. So it gives a little bit more of a solid feel where this is a little bit softer. Um, so the main thing with this, with the adjustability of it, I'm about five foot eight. Um, when you adjust this bar, I put, me personally, I put it right at my nose level um, because what I'm basically simulating is a punch coming directly at my face. Uh, so when this thing spins around, uh, you wanna be able to bend at the knees and really get that bend so that it goes over your head um, and you can use your knees to really uh, bob and weave underneath a shot. So that's a really good thing about that. Uh, the one drawback I didn't really like with this particular uh, system is the bag being really high up. So seeing that right, this right here is right about my nose level where a punch is gonna basically be coming in. Um, I mean, I guess from a, from a conditioning standpoint, you're gonna be able to put your, put your shots up a little bit higher, but that is, it seems kind of counterintuitive in terms of uh, when I'm, you know, when I'm sparring, I'm not going to be really hitting unless I'm fighting somebody really tall. Um, typically, it just feels a little bit off being, having your, your punches shoot that height up. Uh, one thing I would like to see is maybe have a padded system right here to where you can punch or one right here where the solar plexus is at or maybe have some kind of padding system that you can work uh, body punches into. So uh, when you're using this, you can also slip, bob and weave, but also land in some body punches rather than just hitting this this inflatable target up top. I feel that it does a really good job of absorbing the actual, the punches. You don't get a lot of flex because you do have this spring up here that takes a lot of the flexing right there. And when you do hit this, uh, this uh, actual spar bar or the spinning bar, excuse me, um, it rotates. So it's not like it's gonna put a lot of vibration down to the base. So you really don't really have to worry about too much pressure or wear going down to the base like you would with a reflex bag. So I'll just demonstrate how this thing works. Um, I've been working on this just for a couple days now, so I'm not really an expert with it. Uh, but you can see, it's kind of nice to be able to kind of work around, use your footwork, move around the target, and then block shots. So you're working on blocking, and you have to be ready. You have to be ready for that, the bar to come back around. Um, one thing you can, you know, I felt that you can uh, really work on is just your timing and getting underneath shots like that and bending at the knees and correcting that habit. But the, the main thing I really like about that, about this unit is it forces you to keep your hands up. Um, because if you don't, and this thing comes around, it, it, it'll hit you in the head. So, and, and it's pretty hard, it's, it's stiff, so when it does hit you, you definitely will feel it. Um, one thing I would like to see as, as well, and again, it's harder to do, is being able to really integrate hooks. You can't really put too much power behind it. Um, but again, hooks maybe to the body would be nice to, be able to, to hit a shot right here, then block it, and then go down below to the body. So maybe a counter shot with your that, and then come under, underneath with the right hand to the body or right hook to the body. So maybe adding a pad along the midsection right here uh, would be a, a nice addition or just something to be included with this. Um, one thing I also like to mention is this, this unit is made in China. Uh, um, that's where it was shipped from. But the construction of that is actually pretty nice. It's actually better uh, than the ringside Cobra reflex bag in terms of, of how sturdy it is. It actually feels really nice and thick and sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel flimsy, uh, which is an added plus. Um, it definitely has a good amount of weight to it. And when it shipped out, it was about 30 pounds altogether uh, with the, the, the boxes included. So again, I definitely like the aspect that you can do defense. Um, the bearing spins really nice as well. So, you know, it's pretty smooth in terms of, in terms of spinning. around the shot, work your footwork, work, work on parrying shots. So if you're doing that, you can parry the shot, come around, boom, boom, work on the hook, come around, boom, 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 boom. I didn't have my hands up, hit me in the face. Got underneath, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom.
This upper uh, inflatable ball up here isn't really meant for power shots. When you hit it, it feels pretty lightweight. So it's more or less just a target for you to, to aim for. If you want to throw some combinations, bam, bam, and like roll under a shot. So it's good for that. To be, you know, be able to boom, go under a shot, boom, boom, go under a shot. So you don't necessarily have to use the spinning bar to hit. You can just use this to simulate someone's hands coming around or a hook coming around and you're getting underneath it and then countering back using this ball up here. So, you know, you can use it specifically for that. You can just work on box, box, you know, blocking shots, you know, making sure that you don't overextend your hands to block and open yourself up for a counter or for a feint. So just keeping your hands in tight. So I really think that's really nice to be, to have something that works on your fundamentals. I think one thing that, you know, even myself, I work on a lot and I still mess up on quite a bit is, you know, not being lazy with your punches. When you throw your jab, really coming back, making sure it comes back to where it came from. Um, same thing with the straight right hand, make sure it comes back. And I think a lot of times we often get caught up with throwing a shot and then letting it hang out there or admiring our work too much. So you'll throw that right hand, won't come back fast enough and then boom. This thing will let you let you know like hey make sure you put your hands back up so um, that's what i really like about this and that it simulates that and the fact that you really have to work on your defense so again this unit costs 300 dollars um, you can get it from amazon um, it is definitely expensive as far as uh you know the the, the whole setup goes um, it just really depends on the person that's pur purchasing it. it's really subjective if you're somebody that really wants to work on defense maybe you don't have a gym nearby where you live it's pretty far to get to a boxing gym um, you might not have a training partner to, to work with and you really want to get into boxing and you really want to work on bobbing weaving working on your defense um, then i definitely think this is a worthwhile investment um, obviously for 300 bucks that's kind of a tough pill to swallow for, for, for some people you know it's it, this definitely is expensive um, but again if you want to work on your defense um, I really think this is a really cool tool to be able to, to work on getting underneath shots, work on countering and blocking shots, um, which is really nice. The only thing I would say is that I feel like there's definitely some improvements with it, being able to kind of work the body. Um, if you're looking to do, you know, livers, you know, solar plexus, starting shots, and really work the body while countering off this bar, then I think they can improve by adding some padding there. Um, as well as maybe improving this inflatable ball, making it a little bit more durable, or just putting a, a solid foam ball up there. That way you don't have to worry about um, inflating it, which is not a big deal because uh, you'll have to get a replacement bladder. So if you hit this thing and that bladder on the inside it ends up popping, and then obviously you're gonna have to get yourself a replacement bladder uh, for this. And unless you have a threaded piece that matches the one that, you, that comes in this ball, then you're gonna have to use the ball that they provide and you'll have to buy it from in a life. Um, so that kind of narrows down who you can purchase uh, the accessories from. So overall, I do like the, the build of this unit. I think it's really cool for what it is, having the spinning bar, working on your defense, that's pretty innovative. Um, and I think it's a really nice piece of equipment. Um, it is also a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the Spar Bar um, uh, model, uh, Spar Bar brand. Is a little bit more expensive. I haven't tried their brand yet. I don't know the quality compared to this. I would hope that for a couple hundred dollars more, that the quality on the spar bar is better than this. Um, I definitely like that they use a solid foam ball at the top. Uh, but again, I have to try that out to see as far as being able to compare uh, the two. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll make sure you put the link in the description box where you can find this in a life spinning bar. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.